My name is Karina Petri. I'm from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And two months ago, just a little over two months ago now, I read an article on social media and I saw a few pictures about the Flint water crisis, what's going on in my own nation. I can't explain it. I don't know exactly why other than I know it was divine. Uh, immediately my heart was captivated. I knew right away what I needed to do, but I wanted to make sure that it was passion and calling rather than impulse. I right away Google mapped the distance from my house to Flint, Michigan. It said five hours and 33 minutes away. Well, with tolls and traffic, it typically takes me about six hours. From Milwaukee, I drive every other weekend to Flint, Michigan. It started with one trip. I loaded my car up with water as much as I could fit, and I drove aimlessly to Flint, Michigan, not knowing a single soul. When I arrived in Flint, I sat at a red light, and I wondered what next, where now? I was a little overwhelmed. I saw army helicopters flying in the sky. I saw people in the streets handing out water. I saw people everywhere collecting water. I was overwhelmed. I was very overwhelmed. It became really real to me at that moment. I pulled my car over and I took a break and I asked God, now what? Where do you want me to go, Lord? Just take me where you want me to go. So I picked up my car and I started driving a little bit more. And I turn a corner. As I was turning the corner, there was a truck that was turning off of that corner going the opposite way. There's a moment that I captured on video of me meeting the very first people in Flint, Michigan. To this day, I'm still in connection with, the, with these families. I love them so much. Ever since I've been going to Flint, every time I go, I build new relationships and I make new bonds. The missions have been growing and more people are catching on and wanting to help. Also, the more I go, the more I realize just how deep the corruption with this crisis goes. And I'm seeing now and I'm learning how it affects my city and not only my city, but we as a nation, as a whole. I've been working so hard to try and never let this die down from the headlines. I realize the power of social media and I choose to use it to Flint's greatest advantage. But not just to Flint, but to our nation as a whole, because our nation is in trouble, because our nation is distracted. It's a tool used by the government to keep us blinded from the truth, and I'm tired of it. I'm tired of watching my friends get sick. I'm tired of hearing of more deaths in Flint, Michigan, caused by the poison water that was deliberate by the hands that are meant to protect them. Governor Snyder and the emergency manager have much to do with this and they are still free when somebody commits manslaughter and by commit I mean it's accidental that's why it's called manslaughter they face jail time yet the the emergency manager and governor snyder are walking free and the EPA is lying and they're stating that it's okay to take showers and as a result people are believing them because they don't know how corrupt our government is well, I refuse to let this die down. I realize what I'm up against, but I also realize our strength in numbers, and we the people have a voice.